So here we're trying to find the maximum force of the lever arm. So we can say that the uh, this system has rotational equilibrium as well as translational equilibrium. So we can take the sum of torque around point C. This is going to equal zero, and this will going to equal T sine of theta uh, times H minus F of H, F times H rather, times uh, over two. So tension is going to equal the force divided by two sine of theta. So we can say that the uh, net torque about point D is also zero. This is going to be equal to force of friction times H minus F of H over two. Therefore, the force of friction is simply going to be equal to the force divided by two. So we can say that the sum of forces in the y direction equals zero. This will equal the normal force minus T cosine of theta uh, minus uh, the weight, so we can say that N, the normal force, will be the weight plus the tension cosine of theta. And we can say that the force of friction is going to equal uh, the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. This is just uh, by the definition of the force friction. And this will equal mu S times W plus T cosine of theta. And at this point, we can say that the force of the lever arm over 2 has to be less than or greater, less than or equal to uh, the coefficient of static friction uh, times the weight plus F cosine of theta divided by 2 sine of theta. And so we find that F is going to be less than or equal to uh, 2 times mu sub S times the weight times 1 minus mu, uh, mu sub s cotangent of theta. So this is going to be equal to 2 times 0.3 times 400, and then divided by 1 minus 0.3 times cotangent of 36.9 degrees, and f has to be less than 399.7 newtons. So it has to be less than or equal to 399.7 newtons. This is for the lever arm. And so for part B, we can say that this, the net torque about point C is going to equal zero once again. So this will be T sine theta of H uh, minus F times 0.6 H now. So this means that T is going to be equal to 0.6f divided by uh, sine of theta. So we can say that. So we can say that uh, this net torque about point B is going to equal zero. This will equal the force friction times H minus the force of the lever arm times 0.4h. And so we can say that the force of friction is simply going to be. Uh, 0.4 times F. We can take the sum of forces in the y direction. This is going to be zero, and this will again be the normal force minus the tension cosine of theta minus the weight. We know that the normal force is going to be the weight plus the tension cosine of theta. Um, again, force of friction must be less than or equal to the mu S of N. Uh, we can say that force of friction has to be less than or equal to the coefficient of static friction times the weight plus T cosine of theta. And we can say that 0.4 further substitute, so 0.4F has to be less than or greater than mu S plus T cosine of theta. My apologies for it being cramped. And then we can finally say that 0.4 F has to be less than or greater than, less than or equal to mu sub S W plus 0.6 F uh, cotangent of theta. So we can say that F has to be less than or equal to uh, mu sub S times the weight times 0.4 minus 0.6 mu S cotangent of theta. And at this point we can solve. So this is going to equal uh, 0.3 times 400 newtons, and then divided by 
0 0.40 minus 0 0.60 times 0 0.30 uh, times cotangent of 36.9 degrees. And we find that F must be less than or equal to 749 newtons. This will be our final answer for part B. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.